Yes, we was uh we was talking about this not too long ago in um one of my books, Primitive Leadership. And we was talking about the assignment that God gives us. We we talking about how the assignment is a God given assignment has different areas of work. The assignment that is given to you by God can need different things. It can need strength, it can need power, it can need focus, it can need the it, 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 with the the anointing comes with the assignment and the anointing brings all of these things that the assignment needs. The anointing brings the spirit of God which makes the big difference. The anointing brings strength to the assignment. The anointing brings wisdom to the assignment. The anointing will bring in understanding to the assignment. The anointing will bring clarity to an assignment. Because when we carry on an assignment, even though it's a God-given assignment, we have to be prepared because then now there is a prep before the assignment. When God comes to give us an assignment, first thing comes is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God was gives us the assignment. And now there is a prepping season to carry out the assignment. We have to prep for the assignment. We have to study for the assignment. We have to read up more on the assignment. We we have to uh, connect more with God. This should be more prayer concerning the assignment. This should be fasting concerning the assignment. There should be all different types of preparation concerning the assignment. So that when the anointing comes... It will flow freely through the assignment. And you can carry it out like never before. You can carry it out easy. It will come easy to you. There will be no confusion when the anointing is there. There will be no stress when the anointing is there. Because I learned that in dealing with assignments, and dealing with God-given assignments, it's like... Uh, what we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever we do concerning the assignment in the natural, it will now manifest itself in the spiritual. Because we have also gifts that can help us with the assignment. But the gifts comes in the natural, but the anointing focuses on the spiritual and the supernatural things that we need to cover the assignment. That's why it's important that we get an understanding of what the assignment that we are in. It can be uh, just like the seasons that we are in. If we will understand the seasons that we are in, we can uh, go through the seasons, we can carry out the seasons, we can uh, prep ourselves, we can read ourselves through, we can pray ourselves through these assignments when we know what seasons we are in. That's why I, 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 I strongly believe that when we are going after the things of God and God is moving of up levels, these levels that we move up, the assignments on every level is different. And in every assignment, we are, uh, we get experience in every assignment. And every assignment is different, so we gain different experience in every assignment. And we receive different things in every assignment. It's just like we learn on different levels. Daniel was gifted in learning. And if we are gifted in, in learning and, and wanted to learn more, then we can gain more experience to carry out God's assignments. 
That's why I, I truly think that assignments that are God given are so important that we should never turn them down. That when we are given the assignment, we should walk towards it. So that God can give us the things that we need to carry out the assignment. Because if we turn down an assignment, it can be given to someone else.